We need an answer choice that would weaken the argument here. This last sentence is the conclusion here. In simple words, the conclusion of the argument is that presence of lead additives in everyday goods is not the reason for these deaths here. We need to weaken this and therefore we need an answer choice that suggests that presence of such lead additives may have been the reason for these deaths. Answer choice A says that manufacturers have become reluctant to use lead in the manufacture of any goods. So this answer choice is a strengthening and not weakening answer choice. Answer choice B gives an alternate reason that may have led to the health hazard and therefore this answer choice also strengthens and not weakens the argument. We need an answer choice that suggests that presence of lead may have led to the deaths. Answer choice C is a trap. Some students will select this. Please be always aware when you see such answer choices. It's about neighboring countries and the use of lead in these neighboring countries. Such answer choices are rarely correct on the GMAT. You can compare two entities only after establishing similarity between the two countries. Just because these two are neighboring countries, they need not be similar. The key point here is that the country in question has banned addition of lead. Whether these two countries have also banned the use of lead? We don't know, in all probability not, because use of lead in manufacturing in these neighboring countries has risen. That means these countries have not banned the use and therefore comparison with these countries is incorrect. So this answer choice cannot have any bearing on the reasoning here. Answer choice D is also a trap. Some students will think that no cases of heavy metal poisoning have been found in countries where lead is not generally used. And in this country, a spate of heavy metal poisoning has been found. And therefore, in this country, lead must be used in manufacturing. That reasoning is not correct because it has been mentioned that the country has banned the addition of lead. So it is not that lead is being formally used in manufacturing in the country in question. You may want to hold this, but eventually you will see that this answer choice will make way for a more convincing answer choice. Let's confirm answer choice E now. Answer choice E totally resolves it by suggesting that people in the country where poisonings occurred often consume fish caught in regions known to be polluted with lead oxides. So although lead is not used in formal manufacturing, the fish caught here is from a region that is polluted with lead oxides. So fish brings lead into the country and that is how lead additives in everyday goods may have been the reason for these deaths here. And therefore, yes, the reporter's reasoning that lead additives in everyday goods are an unlikely reason for these deaths is weakened. E is the correct answer choice.